everyone. Welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm really excited to be bringing to you a delicious dessert recipe. I'm going to teach you how to make tahino pitakia. That just translates to little bite-sized sweet tahini rolls. They're going to be made with phyllo and filled with tahini paste, which is used all around Greece in sweet and savory dishes. I'm going to show you how to make it in a dessert that's going to be so delicious. It's very similar to baklava rolls. They're sweet, they're flaky, they're crisp yet chewy just absolutely out of this world. We're gonna start as we always do by going over the ingredients. Now, if you're making a simple syrup with this, now you can serve these with simple syrup with honey drizzled on top. If you're not worried about them being vegan, you can do powdered sugar or even some orange marmalade or your favorite jam or um, sweet preserves. But for the simple syrup, it's very easy. All you need is some water, some sugar, and the juice of an orange. The rest of the ingredients are also very basic. You might already have them on hand. You need some unsalted butter, some phyllo pastry. We're just gonna use a few layers of it. It's the number four. Make sure it's thawed and at room temperature. And then you're gonna need some tahini paste, some chopped up walnuts, or your favorite nuts. Then we're gonna use some gr uh, granulated sugar, the zest of an orange, and some ground cinnamon. Now always make sure that you zest an orange before you juice it if the recipe calls for the zest and the juice. You cannot zest an orange once it's juiced, or if you think you can, you might get cut up trying to do it. But now we're gonna begin making this. So anytime you're making a Greek dessert that involves syrup, we always begin by making the syrup, so that way the syrup has enough time to cool down. In, the little, in a little saucepan, we're just gonna combine the water, the sugar, and the juice of an orange. We're gonna bring it to a boil over medium heat. Once it boils and the sugar dissolves, we're just gonna remove it from the heat and set it aside to cool. So next we're gonna melt the butter. Just put the butter in the saucepan over medium heat and once it melts, take it off the heat and set it aside. Then mix the, the sugar, the cinnamon, and the orange zest with a spoon until it's all combined. And now it's time to form the rolls. So you're gonna take one sheet of phyllo at a time, drizzle it with some butter, and then brush it very lightly with a light hand. If you wanna keep these vegan, then you can go ahead and use some vegetable shortening or any butter substitute. Sprinkle about a tablespoon of the cinnamon sugar on top, layer another sheet of phyllo on top of that, brush it with some butter and sprinkle with some sugar, put the third sheet of phyllo on top of that, and then we're gonna brush it with some butter, put half of the tahini paste on top of that, and spread it evenly all over the top of the phyllo sheet. Then just sprinkle with another tablespoon of sugar and half of the walnuts, and then start to roll it up. The first time you roll it up, just brush a little bit of butter on the lower half of the sheet, of the phyllo roll so that way it sticks and stays together and roll it up very loosely. Then you're gonna cut that in half and cut each half in half so you could have eight equal pieces per roll. Then you're gonna repeat that step with another three layers of, of phyllo sheets doing the same thing. You're gonna end up with 16 little bite-sized tahini sweet rolls. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Pop this in the oven and bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're nice and golden on top. Now you don't have to bake all of these at the same time. The best thing about this recipe is that it freezes well. So you can just take as many as you want and bake them when you're gonna serve them. If you're just serving them to yourself and you wanna have them with a nice cup of coffee or tea, just bake a few off in the oven and you can take the tray and freeze them. Once they're uh, chilled and frozen, wrap it in plastic wrap and then just bake them just as the recipe says anytime you need them. Now all you're gonna have some leftover phyllo pastry at the end of this. Just wrap it nicely in some plastic wrap and store it in your refrigerator for whenever you need to use it. It took exactly 15 minutes for my sweet tahini rolls to be perfectly golden all around. I took them out of the oven and as soon as they came out, I poured the cool syrup on top. But again, you don't have to pour syrup on these. You can serve these with a drizzle of honey if you're not keeping them vegan or with your favorite preserves like we said before. You wanna make sure that they cool down completely before you serve them so that way nobody gets burned. And just because I can't take it anymore, I'm gonna go in and take a bite. The house smells wonderful. Mmm, they're crisp, they're crunchy from the walnuts, perfectly sweet, and the tahini adds just the perfect amount of sesame flavor and sweetness. Now you can keep the walnuts out if you don't wanna put nuts in it, or you could substitute pistachios, any chopped nuts or any combination of nuts. You could do walnuts and almonds, pecans, whatever your favorite nut is. You can completely leave them out and just do the tahini. Or you can do a sprinkling of sesame seeds inside. 
and even you can even uh, garnish them with sesame seeds on top. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The recipe, as always, is on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com, as well as underneath this video in the description box down below. Let me know how you made them, and also if you can take a picture and share it with me on Instagram or on Facebook, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.